Hi there. Um, my name's Mr. Gordon, and I'm just going to talk you through the GCSE photography course. Um, yeah, so I'll flick you through some PowerPoint slides, <clears throat> and hopefully that'll give you all of the information that you need. So here we go. So the course, basic information here. So the GCSE course follows the AQA specification. Uh, it's 60% coursework and 40% exam. The course runs over two years. Okay, so year 10 and 11 with all work completed, able for submission. So everything you complete in year 10 and year 11 will be marked. Um, and the structure follows a series of units looking at different subject matter, media, materials, techniques, and artists. So a range of experimentation. Uh, topics that are covered over the two years. Um, we start off with viewpoint and composition, which is basically looking at sort of how to take photograph, what makes a good photograph, etc. Then we move on to portraiture, natural forms, and then the last thing, the largest study is personal study. And that's something you choose yourself, obviously with a teacher's input and sort of guidance, but you choose your own topic, your own theme, and you develop a project around that. Um, in terms of equipment, a big thing, access to a computer. Obviously here we have access to computers. Every lesson you will be able to use a computer, but ideally you would have access to a computer at home. Uh, access to a camera, uh, again, in school, everyone has different sort of cameras. As long as you have something that takes a half decent photograph, you'll be fine, okay? Um, we have a range of DSLRs here in school that can be used in school as well. So um, yeah, so that's what we need, a camera, and also sketchbooks quite often, we will be working within sketchbooks. Some people choose to work digitally via PowerPoint or something like that, um, but it's still useful to have a sketchbook to sort of keep record any physical edits that you do. Um, how you're assessed, the assessment. So work is marked in four assessment objectives. AO1 is development of ideas. AO2, experimenting, different editing techniques, different ways of photographing things. Um, AO3, recording, okay, taking your photographs, um, how your project will develop. AO4, outcomes, your photographs, how you, like, what outcomes you've come to as you've sort of experimented with your photographs. Um, overall, this is out of 24 marks in each assessment objective. Uh, coursework is 60% of the final grade, with the exam unit being the final 40%. Um, all GCSE artwork in all four specialisms is marked by a combination of the art and photography department. OK, so everything will be marked by the art photography team. And then this is externally moderated. Um, future. So after a GCSE, what can you move on to? So here at Ralph Allen, we offer A levels in fine art and photography. Uh, there's a huge uptake to art foundation courses if it's something you want to continue with. Uh, Trowbridge and Bath, sort of very popular from this school. Um, progression onto arts based degrees, so photography, fine art, illustration, animation, 3D design, um, for animation twice, jewelry, design, graphics, textile, ceramics, to name but a few. Um, so students, that you, what what we need from you. So to be committed, passionate, hardworking and willing to learn. Um, enroll on the course if you enjoy being creative and willing to complete work to the best of your ability and try new ways of working with different media and techniques. OK, fab. Um, so I just thought I'd show you some examples. So all through this PowerPoint, every piece of work has been a student's example. Um, one big thing is how your work develops. So I thought I'd show you a couple of uh, pages from a sketchbook. So here it shows sort of top left artist research, and then the sort of smaller images are the student's photo shoot. Okay, everything's been annotated and written about, thought about. And then the lower left hand is starting to edit, and the same on the right hand there, edits. 
from the shoot in the style of that artist okay and again everything is annotated so they're constantly talking about how their work relates to the artists they've looked at and what they've actually done um yeah and how they've developed basically and last but not least um i just thought i'd end with a few student examples of photographs so some beautiful examples here um so beautiful photographs but then also on the right hand side sort of heavily uh, digitally edited photographs and in the center there that's actually cut out collage photograph um some more examples again different techniques and styles uh yeah that is it so obviously hopefully that explains everything that you need um but if there's anything else do not hesitate to get in touch fab thank you very much.